Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will be learn how we can use Python date time module. So guys, sometime dealing with the date and time can be a hassle. So if you know the other programming or Microsoft Excel, then you can easily understand the difficulties to handling the date and time, right? But to handle the date and time in a Python is very easy using the date time module. So this date time module is specifically designed for any kind of date and time transformation okay so from this module you can easily process date and time like date hours minute second time day week month years etc okay so in this session i will give you n number of example to handle the date and time after watching this session you will be able to solve any kind of problem based on date and time so let me go to the jupyter notebook so at the first step we need to import the date time module. So simple import date and time. Okay, now check all the method or function of a date time module. TIR, the module name, not n i. So these are the method of function of this particular module. Now, the first question is how you can print the current date and time. Okay, so simple current time equal to date time, date time dot now. So here date time is nothing, is a module name and is the property of the date time. And now I am using the now function. Okay, so this function includes years, month, day, hour, minute, second, and microsecond. Let me execute first. Now I'm going to print the current time. This one. So first we have year, then month, right? And day and your time format. Now, how you can extract the date and its component from the current uh, time variable? So let me current date and time, right? Okay, now print current date time and year, fine. Now simple print dot month and we can use day and we can extract also the weekday as well. Okay, so here, here day of week it means zero to six right so here sunday will be a zero okay and monday will be a one and so on so let me execute so the current year and the month and day and in the weekday okay now how how can I extract only the time from this variable so simple i need to print dot date so we can easily extract the only the date okay now print so we can extract the time as well but from the time in case you want to extract only the hours minute and microsecond so let's say dot r dot minute and microsecond second also. okay so let me select print so we can easily extract all the information or all the components of that time now another function we call c time so c time is nothing is a different style of the date time so let me execute current time using this method we can print the different kind of style of a date and time okay so friday this is the current date and current time so simple print and here let's say today and print 
and I can use also the now. Okay, so we will get the same answer using the today and now. Now the another very important function which is time tuple. So let me mention here time tuple. Okay, so using this function, we are getting all the details for the date and time. So we are getting years, month, and particular day, hours, minutes, second, and weekday, and your year of the day, and your this is this is nothing. This is a daylight saving flag. Okay, so there are three types of flag for the TM and ISDT. So this is nothing. This is a day and daylight saving flag, right? So there are three flag, which is zero and one and minus one. So one indicate that the day daylight saving is in a effect, okay? And zero, if daylight saving is not in effect and minus one, if the information is not available, okay? These information you need to remember, fine? Now, now the question is how you can make the date and time, okay? So here, let's say I'm going to take a variable which is dt and date time dot date, and you can mention your com uh, date components. Let's say 2020 and the month and 25th. Now let me print the dt. So we can make the date. Now let's say print. Now I'm going to extract the components. Simple dt dot day, dt dot month, and dt dot year. So we can extract the components as well. In case you want to extract the weekday, simple dt dot weekday. We can extract the weekday. Now let me mention here. So Monday will be zero and Sunday will be six. In case I want to extract the ISO weekday. So here, Monday will be a one and Sunday will be seven. So these things you need to remember. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to moving very important part of the date and time, which is how you can handle the date and time using the STRP time and STRF time. Let me write here. Time, right? So these are good method to handle the date and time smoothly in Python. So first we have, so first we have STRP time, okay? So guys, this method is available for both time and date time module, okay? So let me show you in the time as well. So import and time. And now I am using this one print and dir of time. This one, str p time and strf time is also available in the time module, okay? Now, this function is basically used to parse a string into date time object, okay? According to whatever you will specify the format, okay? So guys, it will read a string with date and time information and convert them into date time object, okay? So it is a good function for handling the string date and time. Let me, let me take an example. Let's say my date string equal to, so any date I'm going to take here, this one. So if I'm going to check the type of this variable, so the type of the variable is a string, okay? So here. Now, how you can extract the information or is the dates components from the string variable, okay? Now, let's say date time object, I'm taking a variable. And here date time dot date time and strp time. And here you can mention your variable 
apart from that you can mention your specified format so let's say this one i will explain what is this and b and okay so let me let me change so first we have the year right so we need to mention here year after that we need to have let's say month let's say small month let me do this one now i am going to print the date time object okay so we can easily exit the information okay so strp function will take two input first is your data string and your date format okay so we are we are using date time object that's why the default time is also generated okay so the module name is date time so that's why this time is also generated so these thing you need to remember for this particular specified format i am going to share a link let's say let me write here s s t t p s okay so these particular code and meaning will help you a lot while you are going to transform your date okay so here i use like capital y in small m and d so here capital y when you want your entire year with the help of century in case you are using m it means 09 in case you are using hyphen m so that will be a leading zero will be removed and you can use percent d for the particular date you can use this particular code and meaning right now let me give you an another example let's say uh, t equal to date time dot date time and here strp time and here i am going to mention any of the date percent d and percent b and percent y now print the t okay so we can get all the information using the strp time now how you can accept the month year and a date for an example let's say let me print date time object this one now let me copy dot month dot year and dot day print this one okay and let me let me do one thing let's say if i am going to import a calendar in case i want to check the weekday okay using the calendar module also we have already discussed the calendar module in the last session in greater detail so you can explore uh, by watching that video now calendar let's say day and name in the long bracket you can mention this one and weekday okay so today is friday okay so these thing you need to remember now let's say once again i am using a variable which is tm and date time dot date time and i am going to print the current date and time right now how you can extract the hours minute second and microsecond okay so very easy print let's say hours and here i can use tm dot r dot r and let's say minutes so here i can use tm dot minute and seconds i can use tm dot seconds And last, let's say microsecond, and I can use here tm dot microsecond. Simple. Okay. Now the last example I am giving you once again for the strp time. Okay. Only one thing you need to remember while you are using the strp time. 
with the help of strp time you can convert only a string into the date time format okay let's say another string i am using with the help of date time information for 2020 let's say any random time i am going to mention say am okay now let me print the dt so dt is nothing when you check the type of dt it is a string okay so how you can extract the information from the this dt variable eventually dt variable is a string simple dt equal to date time dot date time and strp time and here you can mention your specify format let's say percent m percent d percent y fine and here percent i for the time percent m for the minute and percent s for the second okay and here percent p for the local equivalent for either am or pm okay for the am and pm you can use the percent p so let me execute this and print the dt see okay so let me go to here let's say so this is a percent i is basically for 20 uh, like 12 hour clock in case you want to use the 24 hour clock then you can use percent h okay and here percent m for the minutes and s for the second and here for you will find the p as well so where is the p this one so this is for the am and pm okay so you can easily transform your string into the date time format using the strp time okay so guys we have covered in this session how we can play with the date and time and how we can extract the date time component separately and we have also seen how we can use the strp method in greater details okay so do practice more because date time handling can be a little bit difficult when you will extract from the raw data okay so these concept really will help you a lot so guys if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section in the next session we will be cover how we can use strf time and time delta and we will explore what is the difference between the strp time and strf time okay so guys thanks for watching and have a great day